What is up you guys, Matt here, Mr. Matt Darnell, and here in this video I will be showing you guys how you can set up dash launch your INI files to boot into freestyle dash 3 automatically on your booting of the con when you boot up your console. So let's go ahead and let's get started guys. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go into dash launch. Once we're in dash launch here you want to go ahead and press X or you want to press select. You want to press RB. Once you have RB selected, go ahead and go to your hard drive, and you'll press A. You can go to Slim Memory Unit and press A, or Flash and press A. It depends on your console. You want to find the one that has the green circle right there. That's where your INI file is located. Make sure it's not on a USB device. If it is on a USB device and you have the USB device removed, then it will... Uh, crash your console on boot up depending on how you set up your INI file. So you want to make sure you have your INI file on the hard drive, the memory unit, or the flash unit, depending on if you have a arcade console, a 4 gigabyte slim, or if you have a 250 gig hard drive like I do in mine. Let's so go ahead and load up your INI file. You can press A. You'll see settings loaded from a certain device. and you just want to press LB over here and we want to go to paths here under paths go to default under default here you want to go ahead and find your default.xex wherever you place that for freestyle dash 3 go ahead and make sure that's selected so whenever you boot your console whenever you do nothing just turn on your console it will automatically go into freestyle dash 3 as you can see right there you can set other applications for other buttons. Say if I turn on my console and hold down A, I can load up XCX menu. Turn on my console, hold down B, I can load up Dash Launch. Or X, I can set it to a game. Say if I want to load up Gears of War 3, I can go ahead and hold X while I'm booting up the console, and it will automatically go to Gears of War 3. Once you have that done right there, you want to go to your behavior here. And you just want to make sure you copy these. Uh, XB, uh, Xbox Live Arcade Patch. I go ahead and disable that unless you need to have it enabled. You want to make sure that's enabled unless you do not want to use the official dashboard, uh, stock dashboard at times. And you just want to make sure you have copied my settings here. Unless, of course, you are running a different settings, of course, depending on what you do. Uh, under network here you want to go to ping patch make sure that is disabled unless you're using Xbox link live block go ahead and make sure that's enabled unless you're using a stealth service live strong make sure that's enabled unless you're using a stealth service XHTTP go ahead and make sure that's dis disabled unless you have it enabled for a reason like I have mine enabled and the rest of the stuff, you just want to leave it as it is. Under plugins here, this is where we will insert our plugger plugins. Say if you're using a GTA 5 mod menu, you will load in a XEX menu in there. Or say if you're using Xbox Live Stealth, you will have one of those XEX uh, files in here for your plugin. What a plugin does is it plugs in a XEX file, and it will pretty much run the script uh, on your console in the background for you, so you don't have to do it manually. That's how you do it, and once you have that done, you can go ahead and press RB, press A again, once again, press X to save it, and you will be done. Once you have that done, you can go ahead and press B to quit, and when you reboot your console, you'll notice that you have Freestyle Dash 3 loaded up. Now, of course, if you want to get back to the default dashboard, just go ahead and press here, go to system settings, press yes, press B, and we're back at the default dashboard here, as you can see. To go back into freestyle, let's go freestyle home, and we're back in freestyle. Hope this video helped you out, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys. I will have future JTAG and RGH tutorials next week. 
along with how to install Fallout, uh, Skyrim, all that good stuff on your JTAG and RC RGH consoles. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Go ahead and check out my website, MrMattDarnell.com. I've got some new content up on there as well. Till next time, guys. I will see you later.